Hey, it's the Big NFL Fan Freak, and we're here with our first official Big NFL Fan Freak show. And our another new set, as you can clearly see. Uh, this is going to be our first Big NFL Fan Freak show since, I think, week 7 or week 8 of 2010. But whatever it is, now it's 2012. We're here for the preseason week 2 predictions and games, and the score predictions as well. So I hope you're excited. I'm excited right now, so let's get it started. First game we're going to talk about is going to occur on Thursday at 8 p.m. It's going to be between the Bengals and the Falcons. It's going to be at the Falcons. As far as my predictions go, I'm going to give you a prediction for who I think is going to be the starter for MVP, because obviously you can't really name if a backup or something's going to be the MVP. I can't think that in depth, so I'm just going to name an MVP that's going to be a starter. I'm going to name what I think the score will be and who I think is going to win. So that will be the three categories for each game. For the Bengals and Falcons, my starter MVP, I have Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, I believe, will have a few drives. Uh, the Stars will probably be their last preseason game playing in. As for to give the backups more of a chance, but I think he might have either a one or two touchdown driving game. That will give the Falcons an early lead over the Bengals. My winner for the game I also have as the Atlanta Falcons. I have them winning 23-21 to over the Cincinnati Bengals. The next game is also at 8 o'clock on Thursday. And it features the Browns and the Packers. The Browns will be going to the Packers in Lambeau Field. My prediction for MVP I have as Brandon Whedon. He didn't, I mean... He had an okay two drives last game, but I believe they'll give him a few drives this game as well, and he'll try to prove himself that he can be one of the other, like the other rookies, and get a touchdown drive or a touchdown pass. So we'll have to see how Brandon Whedon does on this game, but as far as right now, I have him as the MVP. As far as the winner, though, although I have Brandon Whedon as the MVP, I do believe the Packers will win this game. And I believe the Packers will win by a score of 28-17 to over the Cleveland Browns. Starting on Friday at 7.30, we're going to have the Titans and the Buccaneers. And it's going to be at Tampa Bay. My MVP, is, I believe, is going to be Chris Johnson. He had a kind of struggling game in his first game, but I believe he'll come out there and try to show that he can be a dominant running back again because a lot of people are having doubts right now if he can be the CJ2K that he was in his first 2,000-yard season but then went downhill with injuries and all that. So I hope to see if CJ2K can bring him back up to 2,000 yards again. As for my winner, though, I believe it will be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. With a score of 27 to 17 over the Tennessee Titans. At 8 o'clock on Friday, we're going to have the Lions at the Ravens. Yep, yeah, and the Ravens will be the home team, like I mentioned. My MVP, I believe, will be Flacco. I think he'll have at least one or two drives, and he'll have a touchdown on each of those. I don't know who to will be, but I'm sure. Joe Flacco will have at least a touchdown pass to give the Falcons a lead over this team. Um, I also have the Ravens winning. I saw their game last week, and I was pr pretty impressed with their backup core, as well as the Lions, but I still have the Ravens winning 35-24. to Another 8 o'clock game on Friday. We got the Ravens and Panthers at the Panthers. My MVP for that game, I believe, will be either Ryan Tannehill or Reggie Bush. It kind of depends who will get that first touchdown. Whoever it will be, they may get that other drive and they could get another touchdown. It's going to be one of the two. It's kind of a debate right now between me. But as far as right now, I kind of have both of them. My winner, I also believe, will be the Dolphins with a final score of 24-10 to 10 over the Carolina Panthers. Another 8 o'clock game. You have the Bills and Vikings at the Vikings. My MVP, I have Christian Ponder. My reasons why are just I think he'll have a touchdown pass. I don't know, like I said, I don't know who will be too. Obviously, we won't probably see Adrian Peterson at all in this game, but I'm sure they'll kind of show that he can do something. Since I think of Christian Ponder being the MVP, I also think that the Vikings will win the game just barely over the Bills with a 19-12 victory. The next game... 
is the Jaguars at the Saints at 8 o'clock. It'll be at New Orleans. My MVP I have is Blaine Gabbard. My reason why is I think with all these doubters and everything, I'm sure they're going to try to go out there and show that he can throw the ball around and he could end up with a touchdown pass, and I think he'll have at least two drives against the Saints. Although I think it's Blaine Gabbert as the MVP, I also think the Saints will win the game, though. And I believe the Saints will win with a victory of 18-7 to over the Jacksonville Jaguars. And the final game on Friday at 10 o'clock is the Raiders at the Cardinals. My MVP, I believe, will be Carson Palmer. The Raiders had a terrible game against the Cowboys last week. They didn't do anything. They got blown out three to nothing. I mean, it's not really a big blown out, but I mean, they still didn't score any points. So I think Carson and the team will come out there trying to score some points this time for their starters. I believe we'll have at least two drives. I also have as my winners being the Raiders with a 27 to 14 victory over the Arizona Cardinals. Starting on Saturday at 7 p.m., you're going to have the Giants at the Jets, even though technically it's at the Meadowlands, which are both their home stadiums. The Jets will be the home team. As for my MVP, I have it being Sanchez. I think he'll have a couple drives where he'll try to show that he deserves to be the starter and get a couple touchdowns for the Jets to win them this game. That's why I have the Jets as the winner, with a final score of 34-31 to and a close victory over the Giants. Starting at 8 o'clock on Saturday, we have the Redskins at the Bears. Obviously, you're going to see some RG3 action again. Probably a couple of drives for him. I would say three at the most. But maybe just two drives for RG3 to kind of make sure he's set with that offense. I also have my MVP as RG3. I believe he'll try to show that he can get a couple more touchdowns. We might even see a sneaking touchdown in there to kind of show off his legs. Although I have RG3 as the MVP, I have the Bears winning this game with a final score of 27 to 14. Also, another game at 8 o'clock will feature the 49ers and the Texans, and it'll be at the Texans. My MVP for this game for the starters would be Arian Foster, as I think they'll try to show off their running game a little bit against this Niners defense, who's known for stopping the run. Although I have Foster as the MVP, I think the Niners will have a better game in the end and end up winning this game with a final score of 30-23. to Next game we have at 8 o'clock, the Chiefs at the Rams. Rams being the home team. My MVP I actually have as the entire Chiefs defense, who I think will dominate over the starting Rams offense. They should probably will have a couple turnovers here and there. My winner I also have is the Chiefs. They have a good backup core, and I believe they'll win the game over the Rams after what I saw in Week 1. The Rams didn't really show too much, so I'm going to say the Chiefs win this game with a final score of 26-10. At 9 o'clock, you're going to see the Seahawks at the Broncos. Broncos being the home team. My MVP for that game I actually have is Jacob Tammy. I believe he'll have two touchdown catches in the game, if not, maybe one and just a couple extra catches, as they'll probably give Manning more than two drives this time, although I could probably also see just two drives for Peyton, if they're both very successful drives, as they're going to try to keep him healthy and make sure he's ready for the regular season. I also have the Broncos winning this game just barely by a score of 28-20. to In the final game on Saturday, 9 p.m., the Cowboys at the Chargers. Chargers obviously being the home team. I have my MVP as Tony Romo. As I said, the Cowboys had a 3 to nothing victory over the Raiders. It didn't really show much in offense. They gave Romo a lot of drives, but they didn't do anything with it. So I'm expecting Romo to have at least one touchdown drive, if not two. So that's why I have him as the MVP. I also have the Cowboys winning again this week with a final score of 22-14. to our only Sunday game is the Colts and the Steelers at Pittsburgh in Hinesfield at 8 o'clock. My MVP I have is Donald Brown because I believe he'll have a good running day. He might have a catching touchdown, a running touchdown here or there, one or the other. I think he'll have two at least. And Luck might get two or three snaps, kind of just depending. Uh, although I have a Colts MVP as Don Brown. 
I do believe the Steelers will win this game with a final score of 29 to 24. And our final game on Monday night at 8 o'clock featured the Eagles at the Patriots. A little Super Bowl flashback for you Eagles fans and Patriots fans, obviously. Eagles fans are probably not too happy about that memory. Although, I have the Eagles winning this game, so Eagles fans can be excited about that. My MVP I have is Wes Welker. I believe he'll have a couple catches here and there. May get a touchdown in there as well. And like I said, I have the Eagles winning with the final score of 25 to 13. Well, that concludes the first big NFL fan freak show. I hope you keep watching them week in and week out, and also our other shows throughout the week. We have heavyweights coming up tomorrow, and then soaring the NFL on Saturday, and then off on Sunday, and we start our schedule over on Monday again. I hope you stay tuned. I hope you keep watching, and I hope you have a good week. So. Thank you.